Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm making another q and I ask you guys to ask me some questions regarding living in Sweden uh, through Instagram and uh, some of the questions were pretty interesting and pretty wide. So I decided to, why not to make a video about it? Because it's all about making new friends in Sweden, flirting in Sweden, the best uh, thing about Stockholm and Barcelona and so on. So yeah, let's get started. Поехали. So the first question by Edwin Alme, best and worst experience living there, living in Sweden. The best experience to me is uh, traveling around Sweden, going north, uh, going to different cities and towns, um, skiing, uh, it was so amazing, or um, the experience tr uh, trying these huskies, you know. I don't know, it's, it's just the whole experience living in Sweden or living in Stockholm is already the best thing to me, so it's pretty hard to, to pick up one. And the worst experience to me living here would be the waiting time, the paperwork, renovating yourself, reinventing yourself, uh, not renovating because uh, that's weird, reinventing yourself, um, trying to live the, the, your old pattern and adapt new things. So you have to be really open-minded in this case and you have to really try new things. So the thing to not to know what's gonna happen, what's next for you, what not feeling stable on your own 100% because you're living in a new country is really hard to me sometimes. But I mean, it's not the first time that I'm living in a new country, so yeah. But the waiting time, the paperwork and the unknown thing is scary and it can be a bit, yeah, not nice living here, so yeah. Next question by Pablo Rome. Is it hard to make Swedish friends being a foreigner and flirting? Um, I don't think it's hard uh, making Swedish friends as a foreigner because I think Swedes are pretty curious about new nationalities and new, new people around and I think it's really interesting for them. But the thing is, it also depends what kind of person you are. I mean, if you are outgoing, if you, yeah, if you have um, a lot to say, if you initiate a conversation, because sometimes Swedes uh, find it difficult to initiate the conversation and also they have already their cycle of friends. So sometimes I think you are, you would not become a close friend, which is, I mean, this is something relative, but uh, yeah, it, it, it's not so hard, but it depends on the way you are as well. And flirting? Are you good at flirting? <laughs> flirting? I mean, what do you mean by flirting? Because you can flirt with anyone. You can smile and be nice and kind and, you know, it's cool. It's not so weird. But of course, if you just start smiling to someone, maybe mm, people would just find it weird at the beginning. <laughs> but then, who knows? Next question by Liana Daron. Uh, what is better in Stockholm and Barcelona versus Barcelona? Uh, mm, better in Barcelona. Let's start with Barcelona because it's easier to me. So uh, the best thing is that Barcelona is really diverse city. You know, um, it's just like full of nice different things, Dif different districts, different kind of art, different kind of architecture, different kind of cafes, different nationalities. It's just so diverse and even, I mean, I used to live like for maybe eight years in Barcelona and it always was, it, it just always something new to discover. So you never get bored of Barcelona, you know, even if it's crowded, not lately, of course, but it's always it has it always has something to offer Barcelona. So I would say the best thing is just diversity of Barcelona. And Stockholm, the best part in Stockholm, I would say to me is, is just the architecture and the views and the cute cafes and stylish people. I think it's just it's just really hard to pick up one because the two cities are really nice and different at the same time. So yeah. I hope I responded somehow to your question. Molly2002 asked me, I am moving to Stockholm in a few days, coming from France. 
Is there any advice you can give me? I don't know your reason. What is your reason? Why do you move here? If it's because of your partner, if it's because of a job offer or studies. But the thing is, um, just just be open-minded to new things. Don't don't be afraid. Go out there and uh, uh, yeah, take all the opportunities. Like try new things. Don't don't stress. Just just be open to to new opportunities because there's a lot. I mean, Sweden has a lot to offer, and it, I, I think it's a nice country. So just ju just be relaxed, be open-minded, and try new things. Try. I mean, if you have new opportunities, just take it. It will be nice. Next question by John Cale One and Only. Do you think the weather has a lot to do with people's personalities and the way of life? That is pretty wide question. Do you think the weather has a lot to do with people's personalities and way of life? Uh, I think so. Not 100% because it also depends on the way you are on your own. Like if you are like outgoing open-minded person no matter if it's sweden colder country or if it's barcelona or spain spain or any mediterranean country you will adapt a a a anywhere it's okay but of course it can affect people's personalities of course it's in some somehow affects in, uh, in uh, people's personalities in, it, it can be hard it can be sometimes depressing probably not depressing but really like brings you low energy when you live in some gray countries that there's no sun and of course it's it's harder to to smile probably to be happier to do stuff to feel motivated so I think sometimes it can it can affect definitely Jonas Malmsi uh, ask Vad är din favoritmat i fråga om svensk husmanskost? Jag skulle säga att jag absolut älskar toskagen. Toskagen, toskagen. Jag skulle äta toskagen varje dag. <laughs> Och um, potatismos uh, utan köttbullar eftersom jag... Um, Jag kan, in, eh, jag kan inte äta kött. Jag gillar inte kött. Och eh, sill. Our next question by the Nordic Lifestyle. Uh, how is it going for you now that you lived in Sweden longer? Um, it's really different uh, since I moved here uh, last year. Well, 2019. You know, um, it felt really like really super new and like I had uh, different goals and, and you know I see I, I see it now and I already achieved those goals and I, I was like okay this was so small and what's next what uh, yeah it's it, it has it has been a really nice um, time here um, I would say uh, yeah you just change as a person you um you have different goals you have uh, different aspirations um you see yourself change you learn new stuff um uh, you learn a lot about sweden and how it works and uh, i think it has been pretty stressful but at the same time exciting and I must say that it's really stressful and tiring to feel happy and sad at the same time, you know, because you feel happy because it's so exciting to live in a new country and I can I, I can express myself enough by words how nice it is to experience this new life and new start and new everything. And also it's it, you miss that part that you have left behind your family your probably your your job or your routine and you know it's it's so different you're just you just become different person it's it has been a nice journey nice time um 
in a nice and not so nice way because yeah you sometimes wonder what's next and what's gonna happen and if it's gonna work or not and sometimes you expect something but you don't get it and uh, yeah you just should not expect too much you just have to live in the moment and and just wait and be patient i um really uh, struggle with that i mean i really try to um learn how to be patient because especially this paperwork i always talk about but because it's just so annoying it's just it everything depends on, on that you know your your job your stability and everything so it is always sometimes tough so yeah you just have to be strong and and patient as well and uh, yeah this is what how it is and this this is just how it is so you have to accept it and be patient and yeah so so that was pretty nice questions i would say i am i really not i really like to um to think uh, to think deep about this kind of things uh, you know so you guys that was it i hope you guys like this video this kind of content i hope you guys learned something new about about me about sweden or whatever i hope i res responded well to your questions leave your comments down below if you have any questions and uh, thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next video bye